Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Tie Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the original granny square. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. How is everyone doing on today? We're going to work with this category 4, a stitch marker, and a um, crochet hook. <laughs> You can use any size uh, yarn you want, any size crochet hook. Just remember, the bigger the hook, the bigger your stitch will be. Let's go ahead and chain four. And remember, beginners, make sure that you are twisting your hook. Now go ahead back into that first stitch with your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and slip stitch here. Once you slip stitch, go ahead and chain three. Now we're going to go back into that circle there that we just made. Make sure you're crocheting in your tail. And just put three, two double crochets into this space. So for my beginners, go in, yarn over, pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And that's a double crochet so make another one into the same space and that's it your chain counts as a double crochet so that's why we're only putting two now chain two yarn over and go right back into that same space with another double crochet another three remember beginners yarn over go into your stitch Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Sorry, I went so fast. Do that again, pull through two, pull through two. Make three double crochets and then chain two. And do it again. Remember to crochet in that tail that you started with and make your three double crochets. This is two. And three. Now we have three double crochet clusters. And just remember that a granny square consists of three double crochet clusters. That's three double crochets in one stitch. So now I've chained two and go back once again for the last time with three double crochets. Remember, beginners, remember to twist your hook as you're going along. And this is my final double crochet here. So now that we have all four of our clusters in here, we're going to go ahead into that chain, that very first chain you made. You're going to go into that top stitch, the third stitch, and just go right in and make a slip stitch and chain three so now you have four uh, three double crochet clusters going around so that would be this is round one so now we're going to head into round two now as you can see as i said before each double crochet each granny square consists of three double crochet so once you make your chain and turn your work you're going to put it right in between those three, those three, uh, two double crochet clusters. If that makes sense. So you should have three double crochets on one side and three double crochets on the other side. Don't forget to count that chain because it counts as a double crochet. So now I've made two double crochets into this stitch. I'm going to add my stitch marker here so that I know where that beginning, where the beginning of the row is. Because when I'm in row two and I want to make sure I know where I am. Again, you don't, you don't have to use this kind of stitch marker. You can use a piece of yarn or a paper clip. It's up to you. So now just yarn over. Go into the corner, directly into the corner. You don't make any chains. And again, the reason we do that is because we're making two granny square clusters. So it's going to compensate for not making a chain. So once you make your three, chain two, 
and in that same stitch make three double crochets so these are our corners we're now making the corner of our granny square now go on do not chain go right into the next stitch with those two granny square clusters and you're going right in between them into that um, space and make three double crochets this is three and now make a chain two and then make another three double crochets so you see why you don't chain because you don't have to it's going to make up for it all these stitches make up for the no chaining so now i'm going to make my last double crochet in here and you can shift your yarn around if you need to push it to the side i'm sorry push it stitches to the side if you need to now go into the last corner and make three double crochets and chain two yarn over and go back into that stitch again with another three double crochets now as you can see we're getting closer to the end I'm gonna finish up making these double crochets and I'll show you what to do next So now that you've done your three double crochets, you're going to skip these three double crochets in the middle. Remember that chain counts as a double crochet. So when you're skipping these stitches, you want to include that. So right at the end of these stitches, when you count those three, is where you're going to put your last cluster of double crochets. It's like right on the bottom of the previous row those three clusters from the previous row right where i'm putting my finger just go right into that space and make three double crochets or a granny cluster a granny square cluster now once you make those three go ahead and remove your stitch marker and now we're going to go into that top stitch of that chain, yarn over and pull through and make a slip stitch and then chain three. And you're just going to repeat that. Just make sure that when you're making your granny squares, when you're making your granny cluster, you want to make sure that you're going in between those stitches. Make sure that there's three on each side. The only time you will make two double crochets here is that one time and that's because your chain counts as a double crochet so now that you've made your uh, two double crochets here you have to make three double crochets in this middle stitch here you can there's no more skipping now we're going to be making clusters in in between each of the corners so now go into your next corner this is your second corner remember your three double crochets chain two and then another three double crochets and again i will beat this in red three double crochets is a granny square cluster so i'm going to continue on until i get to the end and i'll be back Okay, so I'm finished with this corner here. I'm now going to go into this next stitch with 
three double crochets and as you go around this is going to get um, larger it's going to get bigger so you'll be adding more uh, granny square clusters in between so now we're close to that end we're right at the end so now again right in between make sure you count three double crochets and then right in between those you just make another three double crochets and the same process once you've made those three double crochets go ahead and slip stitch into that chain into that top stitch that third chain in the top and just keep right on going and that's how you make this granny square um, you want to always make sure that you see three clusters in between before you make any stitch and I forgot to tell you to chain one and then make a slip stitch and chain one or however many if you want to continue just make another three turn your work and go ahead and start over again so I'm going to speed up and when I come back I'm at the end remember when you begin again when you start your third row want to make sure you're in between those stitches that chain three counts as a double crochet only put two double crochets in this first section here because you're going to make for it as you go around I put three but I'm taking that out and adding and not adding another one so now go into the next one because now you have two of these spaces to go into so go into this next one with a granny square cluster remember there's no chaining go right in and make that three double crochets and just skip right over to the next one you don't need to chain and continue on and then when you get to your corner you make your three double crochets chain two and then another three double crochets in the same space and just repeat this all the way around for as long or as a further as big as you want your granny square to be I'm going to be making a bag with this um, here I'm going to be adding some fabric I will be making a tutorial on that as well so I put my stitch marker here so I can remember where that first chain starts so now in this corner here you'll go ahead and make two clusters you'll do a three double crochet chain two three double crochet and just repeat your way around so i want to thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe um, and follow me on facebook instagram and tiktok at cam tie handmade crochet have a awesome awesome day and don't forget to practice your granny square there are a number of ways to do them but try this one first bye bye